Well, I've just found a little patch where you can see a lot of the lookalikes of chickweed, pretty much all the ones that you get in Victoria at least. And let's start with, we're going to see some chickweed proper, but let's start with the one we mentioned in the Weed Forager's Handbook most significantly that you wouldn't want to mess up. Um, I'll give you a chance to do your ID before I say it, and if you have got it, um, well done. It is a Euphorbia, Euphorbia peplus. There's lots of little ones here. When it's younger, it's more likely to be mistaken for chickweed. It often grows with chickweed in, a, in the same thicket. Uh, it tends to be a lot more upright. And one of its characteristics, I mean, it's also much more branching than chickweed, uh, is that it produces that distinctive white sap, which you would not want to get into your eyes. You would could have um, terrible eye injuries from that. And even on soft skin, you could get blistering. Um, okay, so Euphorbia peplus, or Petty Spurge, it's a common name. And then next to it here, if we'll ignore some of these other plants, um, is this one, which could be considered a chickweed lookalike too. Any ideas what that is? Ignore my filthy fingers, I've been um, cutting berries in half with them. Um, but this is uh, Scarlet Pimpernel, or Anagalus avensis, is its botanical name, I think. Now, you could, it often has these beautiful little uh, red or sometimes blue flowers on the same plant. Um, but the way I'm IDing it, because it doesn't have those at the moment, is that the cross section of its stem is square. I don't know if you're able to see that, but it's got ridges uh, on the stem. Uh, much, I don't think, it's not an actual Lamiaceae mint family plant, but it has, has a, I don't think so. It's got very similar stems though, like they do where it's uh, four, four ridges. Now just over here, Somewhere I saw another one. Well, here's a here's the main star, the one that that we that we can eat. But let's look for a lookalike of it. And this one, uh, you could. I mean, it does grow more. It's got in this case, its leaves are a lot smaller. In the chickweed growing next to it but I've seen it looking pretty similar to chickweed and do you know what this is those flowers are quite distinctive um, this is uh, polycarpon I forget its species name but it's uh, four leaf all seed four leaf all, all seed uh, it's not edible. and then if we were to Go over here somewhere. We'll find another patch of chickweed. Um, and it's got a relative growing in the middle of it. So there's a mixture of two plants here. They're closely related. So the one that we call chickweed in the book, Stellaria media, is this one. And its identifying characteristic, which is different to everyone that we've just seen, is that it has a row of hairs along the stem. You can see them just along the bottom of that stem there. I don't know if I'll be able to get... There you go. So just a single row, like a mohawk. Uh, growing amongst it is a cerastium. Uh, what a, it's a relative. Uh, commonly known as mouse ear chickweed and it does produce very similar little white flowers as the Stellaria. That's it um, here. See they're growing in clusters though which looks quite distinctive and this is hairy all over. So this one um, isn't poisonous. I mean you can certainly eat it. It's a little bit hairy. Wouldn't be a big deal if you were to pick um, 
or you know a bit of that in the mix with your chickweed but really this is the one that we're after Stellaria media <laughs>